So welcome ladies and gentlemen, just a quick video today to show you guys that the update is officially out now for PES 2016. As you can see in the bottom of your screen, version 1.03.00, data pack 2.0. So we're going to have all the, uh, the new additions that have been added. There's going to be the European kits, the new Malacana Stadium. I will show you guys that now, um, as well as a few other bits and pieces. So let's have a look here. So saving edit data. The previous data will be backed up. Okie dokie. I'm not sure if it overwrites all the custom sort of faces and everything else. That is something that, that you guys will have to let us know in the comments. You know, I don't really add creative faces, so I'm not too sure. Um, it may do, it may not. You'll have to take a gamble. Anyway, we'll be back real quickly after this update has been applied. Okay, so we've gone in here. I've put Spain against Italy. Supposedly, you know, these are the updated national kits. I don't watch a whole lot of national football. I don't even know what kits national teams have anyway. But this is what have been included. So there is it, the Estadio do Maracana. I mean, it looks quite nice if you have a look at it compared to the other stadiums. It's quite nicely presented, to be honest. I don't know if there's going to be a better cut scene. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Apparently, there's some new balls. Uh, I don't know if they're in here. Or maybe they're not, actually. There's definitely not any new balls that have been added there. Uh, we'll just use the Nike one either way. But yeah, so there's the kits. The home. And the away one. And then the Italian home. And the Italian away. Obviously, we'll go for the red and the blue. So, uh, yeah, let's let's have a look at it. So, here it is. Uh, nothing too special at the beginning. Would have been nice to see, uh, I don't know, a different sort of cutscene at the beginning, maybe. Just panning around the stadium, showing it in uh, it, all its glory, but we aren't going to get any of that. And of course, there's the two lineups. The paparazzi taking the photos. And the kits look nice, no question. I mean, I've always liked the detail put into sort of the player models and the kits themselves when it comes to pairs there is uh, Diego Costa the guy is absolutely mental he really is he's got screw loose to be fair that's just the way it is now, there's also been overlays that have been sort of updated if you play the super cup then that will be shown obviously that's not going to happen unless we play master league so there's no way of showing that for you guys but it is there and also, of course, the updated rosters, which is the main thing. That's the thing we all care about the most. To have finally been done, although I'm sure a lot of people are already way, way, way into their Master League. So, yeah, there it is. At least the field doesn't look completely green. So, uh, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see if there's any sort of gameplay tweaks. I doubt it. You can't really tell too much until you get in there and, and play around with it. We'll play a couple of minutes, why not? I've never really played international. I'm really hoping to play a, a good, solid Euro campaign for you guys. If the DLC that comes out is good enough, we'll have our own sort of series going. I'm looking forward to that, very much like I did. The World Cup game came out in 2014. See, that was back on the, the PlayStation 3. Unfortunately, they never produced a PlayStation 4 version. Anyway, come on, Iniesta. Show what you got. It's a good challenge by uh, the team in blue. I will very much be going for Italy when it comes to the Euros. I am English, but my dad's Italian. I've always followed them more than England. Although England had a pretty good campaign. I think they won all 10 of their games. Very impressive. Oh, that's that's a bit naughty, ref. Go on, Iniesta. Damien coming across. Italy definitely uh, more youth about them now, and they've needed that. Obviously, back in the day when we have Del Piero and Piero in there, along with Cannavaro at the back, Maldini. It was uh, absolutely stacked full of quality. It's changed a little bit now. 
Koke and Iniesta combining. And Daniele De Rossi not having any of it. Immobile back towards him. Just play for a couple more minutes, then I'll show you guys uh, the sort of updated rosters. Pump this one forward. Go didn't win the header. Koke get up, not quite. It's a good ball through. Might as well have a go from there. Maybe not. So there is the German kit, as you guys can see. That has been added. There's the home kit. I'm not sure when I'm going to see the away kit because uh, this is only edit mode. But let's quickly have a look at the rest of the rosters. That's that's the key thing, isn't it? Now. I did make some changes initially, of course, before when it came to the teams, but we'll just go through them here. See if they've added anyone or, or sort of changed any faces. Uh, there is Bournemouth, Wilson, Chelsea. All the new players added, I'm sure, are going to be on the, the bottom right-hand side there. Ings, Sinclair, this man, City. Manchester United. See no sign of Ashley Young on that. Oh, sorry, Ashley Young. Um, Chicharito on that. Hooper. So, yeah, it looks like they've been sorted out finally. It's taken them a while, of course. Many, many, many months. Finally got down to it. So, let's see if they've added any faces. I don't think they probably would have. Someone like James Wilson, who... Really should have a face, to be honest with you, but I don't seem to want to worry too much about that. No, still uh, still looks nothing like him at all. Absolutely shocking. So there are actually a couple of... They've added 51 faces, which I forgot about. They have updated uh, Kevin De Bruyne. So let's have a look at his face uh, for Manchester City. So here he is. Yeah. Pretty damn good, really, isn't it? I mean, that's one thing. The faces, when they get them right, they get them right. That is uh, very impressive. Looks very, very good. Of course, they've also added uh, the famous Vardy. There he is, Jamie Vardy, looking sharp. I think they're going to have to update his stats soon as well, the way he's playing. Absolutely beasting, but yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, Fernando Torres also getting a bit of a facelift. Let's take a look at Torres. Yeah, once again, looking very nice, very sharp. Love the hair, mate. Top quality stuff. So Julian Draxler from Wolfsburg as well has been uh, updated. There he is. Looks great. Looks great. I mean, if they all had the face quality of that, uh, etc., you know, you'd love it. Obviously, most of the players look pretty damn good now. Uh, it's just a lot of the, the younger players and, and stuff don't quite look as good. So they've also added some new boots, so uh, let's take a look at those and see what we have. So I believe they added sort of Juma ones. I think these are the new ones, possibly. I know they added these in there. Well, there's a good selection of boots now. The Mizunos. Ignites. New Balance is in there, of course. We know we have the Nikes, they've always been in there. I'm sure they're going to be adding more and more content throughout the course of the year. And there's some Pumas, or Pumas, if you guys are from. And some Umbros as well. So that's basically it, guys. That's the patch uh, that has been added, Data Pack 2. So basically, we've got the addition of 51 new faces, new kits for European clubs, new balls. Um, for I think the uh, the Champions League, the AFC or whatever it is, those kind of things. So that's it. That's all the additions. The Manakana Stadium is in there. So check it out. Go download it. It's around two gig in size on the PlayStation 4. We'll be back shortly with more Master League action, among other things. But until next time, take care.